Hello friends and welcome to Tony's Reviews. Today we're going to be checking out the As Seen on TV Bell & Howe Monster Double Zapper. This is a indoor-outdoor bug zapper. It, all, it says it kills flying insects as well as uh, indoor uh, cockroaches. Or cockroaches in general, I guess if they're indoor or outdoor. Okay, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time. We're going to check this thing out here real quick. Okay, the first setting that we've got it on right here is in uh, flying insect kill. So you see the light comes on there. And then there's a second setting. Hit that turns off the bug light and it goes into cockroach kill. Right here's an opening and right here's an opening and you're not supposed to put your fingers in there and now that it is in uh, cockroach kill mode this thing uh, when a cockroach comes in there it goes in and it's like a trap door and it gets trapped in there and then after three hours it says a, um, a bunch of heat builds up inside this thing and kills the uh, cockroaches. So it kicks on for uh, eight minutes. Okay or you can set it for both where now it's in cockroach kill mode and it's also in flying insect kill mode. You can click it again and it goes into the mode where it just heats up in here and kills any cockroaches that might be in there. You can force this thing to start killing the cockroaches if you know there's some in there or some bugs are inside this thing. This ring right here comes off. It's a bug catching ring from my understanding. The, you know, when the bugs get fried here, they'll fall down. To me, this ring seems kind of flimsy. Gravity kind of keeps it down here. It doesn't seem to want to stay on there real well. I think it should snap on there, but it doesn't do that. The bottom tray on this thing actually comes out. So you just pop it out like that, and you see there, this little plastic lid comes off, and um, you collect the bugs out of there once they've been fried. So you see that there, and the bugs go in there, and <laughs> they get collected on that tray. You see the little uh, electrodes or whatever they are on the sides of like battery connectors or whatever, and I guess that's what connects and gets this thing hot. So, see the little trap doors there, bug, bug goes in there, and then they can't get back out. I don't plan on getting any cockroaches because I don't have any cockroaches in my house. All right, if you want to check one of these out, you can get one of these online for around $39. I think they have them at Walmart for around $40 bucks too. I'm getting ready to set this thing outside, but the first thing I want to do is I want to check the temperature of the little plate that's inside of here to see what it warms up to once it goes into cockroach cooking mode. So I've got the plate out here, you can see it right there. Take the little cover off of it. Okay, the temperature inside this right now is 78 degrees, 79 degrees. All right. For purposes of the video, I'm going to leave the cover off of this while I do this. Okay, now it's in cockroach cook mode. So we're gonna see how hot this thing gets. I'm gonna time it for about three minutes and see what it, see what it uh, gets up to. Okay, we fit that magic three minute mark and now I'm gonna pull this thing out and we're gonna check the temperature of it. You can see the light's still on, so I guess that's still heating up in there. Pulled out real quick and as quickly as I can, we're gonna check that temperature. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. Eh, 87. I can tell you that base in there is very hot. Yeah, the base in there is very hot. I cannot keep my fingers on it. It's that hot. So I think that probably would kill a bug maybe. I would have tried to find a cockroach or maybe a bigger bug and stick it in there. Having one crawl in there by accident is one thing, but doing that on purpose might get some people mad. Okay, this thing was just fully charged right before I did the uh, cockroach cooking test. Sun's about to go down. I'm gonna leave this thing outside all night. Uh, hopefully it kills some bugs and they collect down here. I can tell you this, I did use this thing inside. I think I had it going for maybe like three nights, maybe four, maybe longer than that. I can't remember. I, I used this for a few nights and this thing did not kill hardly any bugs if it did kill any inside the house. And I had a lot of like little flying gnats and stuff like that. Uh, I did get a bigger uh, bug killer that had a brighter light and everything, and it did kill a few bugs. It's killed a lot of bugs, actually. This thing just doesn't seem to kill very many bugs inside. I would show you that test, but there really wasn't anything to show. It's right here in the corner by my garage. We're going to leave it out here all night, and then tomorrow morning we're going to see if there's any bugs on it. Okay, so the moment of truth. Let's look at this thing. All right. Looks like we got a yeah, one dead moth, it looks like, right there. And it looks like... A few bugs did try to get into this thing. Look at that. So we've got dead bugs on this thing. It looks like some moths and maybe a couple of skeeters. I can't really tell. And I'll admit I wasn't out here to see if this thing kept the mosquitoes off of me or anything, but this thing does attract bugs outside and it does kill them. So we can see that clearly by looking at this right now. 
So folks, if you like this video today, please hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to see some more of my product reviews, please hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to help support my channel, please hit the thanks button. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Tony's Reviews today, and God bless you.